Even if you're not Irish, it's fun to celebrate with a little bit of green at dinner time. And today I'm making a leprechaun dip. It's green, it's delicious, and it's so easy to make. So I'm going to start by putting some raw cashews in my food processor. You could use a blender for this too, if it's a pretty high powered blender. I'm going to put these raw cashews, which just means they haven't been roasted, they're not salted, they're just raw. I'm gonna put those in my food processor and I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit before I add the rest of my ingredients. I'll give them a little bit of a head start. The cashews are chopped up and now I'm going to add one can of cannellini beans. They're often called white kidney beans. They're the same shape. They're just a real light, creamy color. And then I'm going to add one cup of chopped kale. Remember, this is gonna be green, so we need some nice healthy greens to give it that color. And a little bit of parsley, probably about a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley I'll add. And then I'm going to, once again, give it a few pulses to chop this up a little bit. And now I'll add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of olive oil. And if you like to use avocado oil, that's a nice choice for this dip too and a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, as well as a little squeeze of lemon juice, some fresh lemon juice. And then I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of tahini, and remember tahini is just crushed sesame seeds. This gives it a really nice flavor and adds a little creaminess too. A little dash of cayenne pepper, because you know I like a little bit of heat, and a little bit of black pepper. And I've got some water ready just in case I need to thin it out a little bit after I've pureed it until it's really nice and smooth. There we go. We've got some nice green leprechaun dip that is so delicious with crackers or fresh vegetables. Carrots are a really nice choice to serve with this. And I'll let you take a peek at it here. I'll put some in my serving dish here and it will be ready to eat. But like I said, I do like to chill it a little bit before I serve it, just for about an hour or so. This is great for taking in your lunch. It's a great little snack for children after school. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.